In all good tennis training methods, the placing of the feet for different shots is considered very important. With correct feet placings and a feeder that drops the balls at the right distance from the body, both forehand and backhand strokes can be practiced, the ball dropping and rising to a convenient height for the stroke. The feet are, of course, positioned for different shots. So we'll change for the service. The feeder ring placed over the head indicates the height of the up throw, the stroke, of course, being made as the ball drops. Whilst on high shots, we'll show you the smash. A little gun, the invention of Mr. Soderstrand of this Swedish school, acts as the feeder and sends the ball into position. This mechanical method has one big advantage. It throws the ball up to a consistent height. Playing a tennis ball against a wall has always been considered a very good method of training, but even more efficient is the one that you're looking at now. On the wall has been designed a tennis court in perspective, and in this way you can literally play tennis with yourself, all the time knowing exactly where the ball would go on a full-sized court. 